Hi YouTube. Um, guys have probably been wondering uh, what I've been up to and what's the future of the channel and um, channel will still be there. Uh, videos have been really, really slow this year. I haven't done a video probably since spring and uh, since top to now. Uh, reason for um, I bought a house last winter and I haven't haven't gotten the internet out there um, so with the downloading of the videos I have to do at the farm itself um, but just a lot of it's just been over overwhelmed with work and not having enough time to actually do a video and um, I've been getting comments, uh, you know, what, you know, what's going on and why there is no videos. Uh, uh, but it's just, a lot of it's just because I just haven't had the time. Um, I want to do them. But, <clears throat> to, uh, but I haven't because I just been having uh, just too much stuff to get done at a certain time and just not enough time to actually grab the camera and do a video um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try here and do maybe one a week maybe two um, try to get back into it a little bit I know a lot of subscribers out there really want me to keep going so um, the channel will still be there, but uh, the videos probably won't be like they were when I first started the channel because I was still in high school and had all the time in the world to do it. Uh, and now it's a little bit harder for me to do, but we'll keep her. We'll try to keep her going. Um, like I said, I'll try to do some a video once a week, at the minimum, maybe two. We'll see. But uh, what uh, is going on right now, at least today, is uh, we're working on this TR-96 Combine. Um, this is the Combine I bought last year. Yes, for uh, articulating tractor is right there. But uh, anyways, I'm um, getting this ready to go for this fall. Um, we got well, we got about 80, oh, 85 acres of corn grain corn in a combine and 60 acres of beans um, what I have been doing is as you can look up in front here you can see all the lights we took all the lights off and you betcha I put all LEDs all LEDs up there um, I got LED here LED there um, I haven't got these hooked up yet because I got to drill a hole through the tin and then uh, I get some rubber grommets and then uh, put the wires through. Um, yeah, so we're switching that all out. Um, I went and put uh, I put uh, LEDs here, an LED up here on the loading, and they never had one on this side, but I put one up here, and then I got one on the inside the tank. Um, I also do have a, I don't know what it is, 48 inch light bar that goes on top of yet that I have to wire up yet, but, um, what else I gotta do? I gotta fix this, um, this never worked last year because I didn't have the bad, uh, the belt, but I've been looking at this and t to me it looks like these are bent. And I think, I mean, uh, they, uh, this here I know is bent. Um, I did this last year, my fault. I backed into a pine tree, a small pine tree. Um, because I just didn't see it there yet, so I'm gonna pop this off, fix that, and then I got the belt that I'm gonna put back on it. I gotta take this recap tire off. This uh, this is how it was last year. Um, I drove it like that. Um, I got the new tire on this side here. 
it's not brand new but it is in fairly good shape so I'm actually gonna take that and move that over here so it's not sitting in the sun um, right now me and my dad are working on deciding what belts we're gonna replace um, we're gonna re replace the shaker shoe belt um, the rotor belt which is this one here a very expensive belt but as you can look you can see that it's starting to crack and I just don't want to have uh, minimum problems as possible if at all in the field this year so uh, this fan belt I'm going to replace because it is this dry rot kind of no, I'm probably original belts that are on here but right now we were working on uh, the motor um, we finally this finally got this to work um, this is for adjusting the speed for the fan so we're gonna we're fixing that right now and uh, basically just putting it back together now um what else have we got going on here got some chains I'm going to replace I think Um, I think here, got, got some chains I'm going to replace, I don't know if it's this side, oh yeah, it is this side. I'm going to replace the unloading auger chain up there, uh, just a lot of play in it, a lot of wear, uh, got a drop to oil, I can show you this disaster that's up here. Um, I have to decide how I'm going to fix this yet. I'm going to think about going to get a new tank, but whoever owned this before me must have did something here. There's supposed to be a shield here that supports this. As you can see, you can, if you can tell the discoloration here, there's supposed to be a guard here that bolts from here to here, down there, and it's missing. So. But uh, someone had brazed this, so when you put oil on it, it gets to the point it actually seeps out, and it's just a disaster. And so I gotta fix that yet. I'm probably just gonna go to the salvage yard and find one, put on here, and that will take care of that issue. Um, Otherwise, uh, I guess we're gonna change the oil and uh, do the filters, but and that's not a real big uh, concern at the second. But, but uh, yes, that is my new sprayer, and I will do a video here on the new equipment that I have that you guys don't know about. Uh, it is quite a bit. This side here, the main dry belt, I'm gonna have replaced because, as you can see, there's a rib missing here. Uh, there's only four here right now, no five here. Should be six if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, this belt's got to get replaced. It does not look fun to replace, but I'm going to replace it as you can see, and it's starting to starting to come apart. And I, we just don't want to have any issues. Otherwise. Other things I'm doing to this is I'm replacing the hazard lights. I got new hazard lights. I'm putting a beacon light on here. And then I am putting a camera system. Um, if you watch the Iowa Dairy Boys, um, their camera system they put in their com combine. I am putting in this one. The only difference is mine's not wireless. Um, mine actually, I'm going to run the wires. Um, at least I believe theirs are wireless, I can't remember, but um, I am going to put one in here so that way I can see behind me going down the road. And uh, I'm going to put one on the auger, and then I'm going to put one up in the tank. Um, so that way I can see, even though I got sensors in the tank to tell me when it's full, um, it's, I'd like to be able to see, so if I can go an extra time around or something, after the window is completely full and I can't see behind me instead of always popping out the door to look. Um, I can just look at the camera and decide if I can keep going or how long I can keep going. But um, but yeah, that's about all I got right now. 
going on right now. I've been working a lot on this here. Um, I'm going to get ready for corn silage here in two weeks. Um, that is my new bean head. Um, it's an 18 foot bean head. Um, I got rid of my older model. This is the newer model. So, oops. I better zoom that out. So, that'll be a um, I don't have a whole lot to do to that thing other than maybe uh, put a new bushing in the sickle. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't ran it yet even, so. But I uh, don't look like there's a whole lot to do on that, which is a good thing. So, just a matter of getting this thing all ready to go. And it's getting there. Um, but, um, I'm trying to get the rest of the lights done here first before we go into corn silage mode. and. Because usually as soon as corn silage is done is when we'll get into uh, getting ready to do beans. So, and yes, I do got a six row corn head for this as well. Um, get rid of the, getting rid of the four row. So, uh, that is what's going on right now. So I guess uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I thank you for you guys for sticking to the channel if you have. Um, I know, like I said, the videos have been slow, but... Um, and there's a building that we've been working on putting up that we have to finish yet, but it probably won't be until this fall, so just stay tuned and thanks for watching guys.